All right, what's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can set up Google Analytics tracking for your Shopify store. Real quick before we get into the video, if you're looking to run pre-orders on your products, set up a custom wholesale program, offer volume discounts on products in your store, set up unique checkout rules at your checkout, or sell digital products, Check out our apps by clicking the links in the description. So the first thing you need to do is be logged into your store admin and ideally be logged into a Google Analytics account already as well. Now, if you don't have a Google Analytics property set up, that's fine. I'll show you how you can set that up in this video. Just make sure you already have an analytics account. Now, inside of our Shopify admin, we're to go to apps and we're to go to app and sales channel settings and we're going to open up the Shopify App Store. And then we're gonna search for the Google and YouTube app. So right here it's showing up as recommended, but if you don't see it here, you can just search for Google and YouTube up here with the search bar. So I'm gonna go over to the Google and YouTube app here and click install. And then we're gonna just install it to the store. And once we install it, we're gonna be prompted to connect a Google account. So we just need to do that quickly. So you're just going to connect the account that you have your analytics account created with. Now once you've connected your account, you're going to be brought to the app setup screen right here. So there's different things you can set up with this app, not just Google Analytics, but in this video we're just going to be doing the Google Analytics part. If you're looking for setting up Google Ads conversion tracking, you can check out my other video on that. But for Google, Google Analytics, we're just going to come over here to the right and click over to where it says looking only to set up Google Analytics 4 for your store. And then we're going to click on get started here. And then what we can do is it's going to let us connect an existing property. So if you already have a Google Analytics property created inside of your analytics account, you can select that right here. But if you don't, we can just go ahead and create a new one. So I'll show you how you can do that now. So if I click on create new, it's essentially just going to bring us to a tutorial but I'm just going to jump straight over to analytics and then sign in. And if you already have an analytics account, it's going to bring you to the home page of that. And we're gonna come over here to admin down here in the bottom left. And then we're gonna click on create up here. And we're going to assume that you already have the analytics account. So we're just going to create a property inside of your analytics account. So the property name can just be the store. And you can choose your currency and your time zone. And then you can enter in your business details right here. And then you can enter in your objectives. So for an e-commerce store, we're normally looking to drive sales and understand web traffic and we could also do engagement as well. And then we just click on create. So we're just gonna quickly choose the platform as web. And then we can paste in our website here. Remove the HTTP. Just click create and continue. Now instead of setting up this tag manually, we're just going to do it via the app. So I'm gonna refresh the app here by going back to the online store and then just reopening the app. And then I'm gonna go back to the setup for Google Analytics 4 right here. And then we're gonna select the one we just created from the dropdown. So we're gonna select test store for YouTube, which is the account we just created. Click on connect. And then you can choose whether or not you wanna receive email updates from the Google and YouTube app. So that's gonna be personal preference. I'm just gonna click confirm and then click complete setup. And then once we've done that, we're all set up and our Google Analytics are now linked up with our Shopify store. So you can click on view performance and it'll take you to your analytics account. If I were to open up the online store, kind of just navigate around, and then 
come back over here. If we came back over here to analytics, we can see now we have one active user, which is me. And if I want to view real time, we can see that now we see the active user. We see page views, first visit, scroll, etc. So everything is set up and tracking in your Google Analytics now. So that's how you can link your Google Analytics to your Shopify store. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.